Hey everyone, this is Zach here with another episode of Hope for Master Ball, where I take a team, build it myself, and see if I can get it up to the ranks of Master Ball. So with this season, I am going to start using the tag and the playlist for VGC 2021. So I'm excited to do that. And we are also going to use a pretty unique team and when it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, so far, let's check it out. It is uh, Electrovire. It is Electrovire Thunders, where I am going to try to take advantage of Discharge, which is why we also use Mamoswine for some not dis not Disquake, but uh, Discharge and High Horsepower. But we're gonna go into it. But usually, when I play the first night, I don't do so well, and I feel like with this team. I'm a little concerned but we're going to have fun with it and we're going to see how quick we can get this team up to master ball it can't be as bad as copper Raja. okay so there's trick room here who's the trick room user though i actually think moltres could be better here But I want to try the Electrovire. Electrovire. There's a lot going on with this team. And it's hard trick room. But the thing is, I think Audino gets trick room. Hatterini and Stack Attacka both get access to trick room. So I am pretty worried about that. And then at the bottom, I'm pretty sure that's a Misty Seed Unburdened Halucha which could be pretty bad here. Tapu Fini and Audino. That is not a bad lead for us. Stack attack is rock and steel, right? Yeah. So I want to go after Audino with the max knuckle and discharge. That way we can get plus one speed and then plus one attack. So we're going to go ahead and max Electrovire and see what we can pull off. I'll be so happy if this works. I used it to get Master Ball at the end of yesterday on my second cart, but there's definitely a difference between the people trying to get to Master Ball on November 29th and the people trying to get to Master Ball on December 1st. Good damage into the Finny. And we almost score a knockout. Muddy water. Does a decent amount. And there's the trick room. Okay. So what switches out here? I don't necessarily want to give them a free switch. We'll go ahead and taunt the Audino and just knuckle into the Finny. Oh, it's Mental Herb. Makes sense.
I actually want to take out the Audino here. Ally switch. Oh, okay. Well played. But you're stalling. You're you're losing out on trick room turns. And unfortunately, the accuracy drops are going to be really bad for us. How many turns are left to Trick Room? Two more turns of Trick Room. I want to try to preserve Thunderous. And bring in the Amoongus. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of damage on Electrovere. They haven't used their max yet, so. I think I just want to Rage Powder here and just try to soak up as much damage as I can. And there's the life too, so they're just gonna keep spam spamming that. And you're gonna calm mine up. Uh, that's not good. Go ahead and Moonblast, and then we'll try to put... Do they still have Misty Terrain? No, it just went away. And let's try to Spore the Audino. We need a special attack drop here. There we go, we got that. Okay. Let's go ahead and spore again into the finny slot. Okay, there's the berry. It's probably a wiki berry. We need Spore to hit. There we go. You know, I want to Scald into the Audino here. And switch into Thunderous. Oh, we, we made the wrong switch.
Let's go ahead and protect the Finny. And we will discharge. Oh, bring in Finny back. Yes. Okay, so you're using your max on Torkoal. I'd have to say you're probably trying to take out the Thunderous. Finny just hangs on. But we eat that though. Do we switch out? If we switch out... Amoongus is going to take some damage from us, but we can get a knockout on the Feeny. goodness you called the switch no you didn't okay So who are you going for here? Are you going for Tapu Fini? Or are you going for Amoongus? <sighs> I have to say you go for Amoongus. Solid damage. Life deal. Ah. Okay, we made a good call on the protect. You protect Torkoal while setting Trick Room. Let's find out. No, you don't protect. No, you're just gonna life do spam. I think it's over here. Yeah, good game. We gotta see if Scald will get the knockout.
So you're you're just sacking Feeny while you set Trick Room. Makes sense. And you're resetting Sun. We should have called that and targeted the odd Dino. The odd Dino's just gonna life do again. I'm just gonna call it here. We've almost went to 20 minutes. There's no point in dragging this on. I didn't even get to see your fourth Pokemon. Well played. Well, not off to the best start, but it's kind of something I expected with this team. Okay, so there's some heavy trick room. I think we always bring Amoongus here. And do I want Finny or Mammoth Line? I think I want Mammoth Line, especially if I can get, if they do get Trick Room up, if I can get uh, Glassy or Asleep, if I can get Amoongus and Cleanly. Dust Closet and Grim Snarl. You have to fake out here. I think there's valid in just letting them set up the trick room. Oh, and you just reflect. I could have totally cho stopped trick room there. Oh my goodness. We, ha we have to taunt the Dust Clops now. We'll go ahead and get our taunt off. And we'll break screens. I don't want to show Fire Punch yet. I'm just going to go ahead and protect again. And you doubled into... I think this is actually a decent position. To get in Amoongus. Because if you want to make a hard switch here. Okay, we get the crit. The thing is, do you have ally switch? Do 
there's one more turn of Trick Room. So we have to bring Thunderous back in, and I just want to spore the Glassy Air. And you're going to go ahead and max, so... I mean, if we can... If we can get the sleep, and then next turn we prevent the Trick Room, we're actually in a really good position. We do have to worry about the ally switch, though. Just a Nightshade. And we get... Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and taunt the Dusclops. And we are going to bring in our Electrovire. So we've seen Nightshade, we've seen Trick Room. Get the taunt off. You get the one turn wake up. Okay, it's life orb, so it's not weakness policy. So here I want to discharge just to get damage off and I want to steel spike into the glassy air. You're probably going for the knockout on Thunderous. That way you could probably switch back in Dusclops and get Trick Room back up. And I don't think our steel spike is going to put off enough damage though. Solid. Max Hailstorm, yeah, you're going to Thunderous. So I have to have Amoongus survive. Actually, we should be able to just knock out the glassy air. get that steel spike all right good 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 Who's your last Mon, though? Mall Trace.
They won't set Trick Room. So we might as well Spore. I'm worried about the nasty plot. Yeah, let's just, we'll double into it. Moltres protects, okay. We should be able to knock it out with Icicle Crash though, our Ice Shard. There's the weakness policy. Maybe we should have quaked. Our Mammoth Wine is Assault Vest. What is our speed? Uh, if, if you're max speed, we don't outspeed you. Almost. And we put you in Berserk range. Good game. One Nightshade wins here. You can just protect a nightshade either way. Yeah. I'm trying to think of how I could have done that one better. Probably Max Quake onto the Dusclops. Uh, Cause the predict on the Moltres was really obvious. But let's do one more. Hopefully we can get a win. <laughs> I knew that this team was gonna be a challenge. Ooh, okay. There is the rain. but they don't do well. I've been saying this every single time, but. If they lead rain, we have a good matchup. Talonflame Butterfree. actually really don't have to max turn one. We'll just taunt the Butterfree and just smack the tail the Talon Flame.
Let's go ahead and discharge and get the max lightning off. Okay, Hurricane, not bad. Oh my goodness. Good counterplay. Now I just have to make sure I don't hit myself in confusion. There we go. How many more turns of Tailwind do they have? We've been playing pretty quick, so I think they still have like two more turns. And even then in the rain. Two more turns of Tailwind. Let's T-Wave the Kingdra. T-Wave is one of those moves that like I might replace because I don't use it too often, but in a situation like this where my opponent has like the speed advantage, uh, it's actually really good. Their speed is like probably like close to 400 right now. And we miss. Mammoth Swine could be good here. I think with the Butterfree, you go for the Sleep Powder on the Thunderous. I just hope that uh, Max Airstream does not do a lot to Finny. Oh. Fudge. Okay, Butterfree goes down. We get a speed drop on the Kingdra. Tailwind should be over. How many more turns of rain are there? Two more turns of rain. One more turn of Dynamax. Yeah. 
Hang in there, bud. Yes. Thank you, Finny. We needed all those. We needed the crit, we needed the special attack drop. Your minus one speed. We're just gonna protect the rain out. And we're gonna try to discharge. I think you just go for the easy knockout with maybe muddy water. Thunders out speeds. Nice. Okay. We got one. So that is all for episode one of VGC 2021 with the Electrifier team. I knew it was going to be rocky. I knew it was going to be a rough start, but I'm hopeful that we can get things going with this team. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for some more comment content. And I want to say thanks for watching. Anyways, I'm Zach, and I will see you guys in the next one.